49 year old James Craig Anderson from Mississippi was killed by two truckloads of white teenagers in Mississippi. Um, the it's a horrible situation. CNN did a report on this. In fact, Anderson Cooper talked about it on his show. We have a little bit of the video for you guys later. But essentially what happened was uh, these teenagers were at a party. They were getting drunk. Um, they're very much uh, into white power. Mm -hmm. And they decided after getting drunk that they were just going to get into their cars and look for the first black man that they can find and literally beat him up to death. Mm -hmm. So in this case, uh, they found a black man, they beat him up, and then they got in their car and ran over him. He died. We have a video surveillance uh, of them doing so. Um, it's a little graphic, so, it, you know, just I'm warning you before we watch the video. Now let's watch. According to witness statements, at first James Craig Anderson was beaten and taunted with racial slurs. Surveillance video shows white teens going back and forth in what prosecutors say was a continuous beating of the victim. As one of the teens walks back to the cars after beating Anderson, he pumps his fist in the air and shouts, white power, according to a motel security guard. Then some of the teens got in the white SUV and drove away, leaving Anderson beaten and lying on the ground. Daryl Dedman apparently wasn't through. He had two girls in his truck as he was leaving this parking lot, a big F-250 pickup truck. James Craig Anderson, the man who was beaten almost to a pulp, was stumbling down this curb. That's when police say Daryl Dedman hit the gas, jumped the curb, and ran right over his victim, smashing him. Okay, so that's a little more detail into what they did, how they did it. Um, so one of the trucks did leave. However, 18-year-old um, Daryl Dedman stayed uh, because he wanted to finish the job. Mm -hmm. So now let's watch and see what he did. This is what was caught on that tape, obtained exclusively by CNN. We warn you, it is disturbing. A video capturing what prosecutor Robert Shuler Smith says is pure, racial hatred and murder. Here you see James Craig Anderson in a hotel parking lot as he first comes into view in the lower right corner of the screen. This is after he was beaten, according to law enforcement officials. He staggers into the headlights of Mr. Dedman's truck. The truck backs up and surges forward suddenly, running right over the defenseless man. Take a look again as the approaching headlights glow on Anderson's shirt, then disappears under the truck. That's hideous. So, two thoughts about this. Uh, now, we don't believe in the death penalty, so I believe those kids should go to prison for life, all of them, okay? I think it's a no-brainer. So, now people will uh, bring up, this is a race-related crime, hate crime, et cetera. Well, obviously it is, they yelled mm -hmm. white power, et cetera. But to me, I've always thought that that's not as relevant as other people think it is, okay? If they had not yelled white power and they had yelled anything else, you know, uh, I would find it irrelevant. I would still want all of them to serve life sentences because how do you beat this defenseless guy for whatever reason, random reason, racism, whatever it might be, and then run him over with a car? All right, well, you're all going to prison forever. Okay, that's my take on it. Uh, I don't know what you can do to them on top of that, because I believe they should get the maximum. But the second part uh, that I found interesting is how small this story is. Mm -hmm. Like, so we're covering it, obviously CNN covered it to their credit and they found the footage, et cetera. I feel, and I might be wrong about this, but that if a bunch of black teenagers uh, went and found a white guy and then, you know, murdered him like this and beat him up to a pulp, and ran him over their car, that it would be the largest story in the country all over the place. Can you imagine if a group of Arab kids did it? Oh, <laughs> or, or uh, undocumented immigrants. If Mexicans had crossed the border and a bunch of them had gone and killed a, a white guy in Arizona like this and then run him over, would that not be the largest story in the country? I mean, I, you tell us, but it, to me, I, on first blush, I would think that would be an enormous story. Right. This one is a small story that we're covering. Again, credit to CNN, et cetera, but it's not making national headlines. 
Uh, look, our country has a huge race issue that I think is underestimated. I, I think that people truly believe that racism doesn't exist anymore, especially in the South. People believe that, hey, if you're fl flying the Confederate flag, it doesn't mean that you're racist. You know, people have these crazy ideas that we've completely moved on from it. And look, I grew up with, in a generation, and especially in, the, in Los Angeles, where it's completely diverse. I haven't had to deal with any type of um, racism. I haven't seen racism personally. But I, I wouldn't deny the fact that we still have a huge race problem. And I think the, re the fact that we're kind of turning our backs to it and pretending like it doesn't exist, that's the most negative part about it because we can't fix it if we don't acknowledge it.